In this video, I'm going to give you three techniques on creating walking bass lines for the guitar. The first technique is considered the most common approach and is what I call connecting inversions. This approach requires the most physical movement, but best replicates the sound of an authentic walking bass line. With this approach, you're simply connecting inversions of a chord by way of a passing tone in between each inversion. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to focus on walking bass lines using chords that have notes on the 6th, 4th, and 3rd string. Let's use a G minor 7 chord as an example and look at each of the four forms you'll be connecting. Root position has G on the 6th string, F on the 4th string, B flat on the 3rd string. First inversion has B flat on the 6th string. G on the 4th string, and D on the 3rd string. Second inversion has D on the 6th string, B flat on the 4th string, and F on the 3rd string. Third inversion has F on the 6th string, D on the 4th string, and we're going to use the 9, which is A, on the 3rd string. Now that I have my forms in place, I'm going to connect each form with a scale tone. In this case, I'm going to use a G Dorian scale. In terms of right hand technique, I'm first going to play the bass note with my thumb, then play the other two notes simultaneously with my first two fingers, and then play the next scale tone in the bass with my thumb. Root position would look like this. Thumb on the bass note, fingers on the chord, thumb on the bass note, next scale tone which is A with the thumb. Next form, thumb on the bass note, fingers on the chord, thumb on the bass note, next scale tone which is C. Next form, thumb on the bass note, fingers on the chord, thumb on the bass note, next scale tone which is E with my thumb. Next form, thumb on the bass note, fingers on the chord, thumb on the bass note, and then I'm going to add the chromatic passing tone, which is F sharp, to seamlessly get myself back up to the root up an octave. When I put it all together and play it ascending, it sounds like this. Descending sounds like this. The next technique is what I call chromatic approach from below, scale tone from above. This approach has less movement than connecting inversions, but also has nice smooth motion. Root position looks like this, thumb, then fingers on the chord, F sharp below with my thumb, thumb then fingers on the chord, A from above. Next form, thumb then fingers on the chord. A from below, thumb then fingers on the chord, C from above. Next form, thumb then fingers on the chord, C sharp from below, thumb then fingers on the chord, E from above. Next form, thumb then fingers on the chord, E from below, thumb then fingers on the chord, and then F sharp as a chromatic passing tone back to the root. When I put it all together, it sounds like this. The last concept is what I call marking time. This has the least movement of all the three techniques but it's a great way to add variety to your bass lines and also give you a little breather from flying all over the neck. To execute this, you alternate the thumb and the fingers while staying on the same chord. There's really no movement ascending or descending, but the alternating fingers offer a sound that simulates movement. The first form would look like this. Thumb on the bass note, then fingers, thumb on the bass note. Second form, Thumb on the bass note, then fingers, thumb on the bass note. Next form, thumb on the bass note, then fingers, thumb on the bass note. 
Next form, thumb on the bass note, then fingers, thumb on the bass note. When I put it together, it sounds like this. What I'll do now is walk over a G minor 7 chord using all of the approaches randomly in a more musical fashion. Walking bass lines are great for solo guitar work and also playing duo with another guitarist, singer, or horn player. Try using these walking bass line techniques when you're performing in these types of instrumental settings. Thanks for watching.